your parts. Pride, tradition, passion. Be proud of who you are and what you are. Your parts. When they face adversity, plant their feet, take a brace, hit them right in the jaw, and say, bring it on. Want some, get some. CU Athletics and U.S. Cellular present The Ruffin McNeil Show. The Ruffin McNeil Show is brought to you by U.S. Cellular, the official wireless sponsor of the ECU Pirates. And now, the voice of the Pirates, Jeff Charles. Welcome to The Ruffin McNeil Show. The Pirates, as always, they play their hearts out and just come up a little bit short in the Birmingham Bowl right here at legendary Legion Field, losing to the Florida Gators 28 to 20. Ruff will be out in just a couple of minutes and we'll visit with him, get his thoughts on this game. For the guys, they had a great time in Birmingham. They were here for a total of six days and five nights, had a chance to really get a feel for the city. And the folks here at the Birmingham Bowl did a terrific job rolling out the red carpet. And we're gonna find out what the Pirates were up to and what they learned once they got to Birmingham. Well, this is the time of year, of course, where we have football, we have basketball, we have a lot going on, and we're going to have an update on Jeff Lebo's basketball pirates coming up on the show as well. So, a lot to cover. Coach Ruff will be here right after this. The Ruff and McNeil Show is brought to you by U.S. Cellular. Download the free Mascot and Me app for iPhone and Android to get your picture with Petey. U.S. Cellular. Hello, better. Hey, man, I'm stranded. You think you can come pick me up? Uh, where you at? Uh, Route 13, 50 miles out. I'm kind of busy right now. It's going to be a little bit. Awesome. Why was U.S. Cellular built to work way out here? Because being stuck in the middle of nowhere should be up to your buddy, not your spotty wireless provider. With 4G LTE coverage, for nearly 90% of our customers, you get national coverage that works harder locally. U.S. Cellular, hello better. You've built wealth by traveling your own path. Investing in the strength of your ideas. Capitalizing on the best in you. At bb and Wealth, we understand your passion for what you do and your vision for what you'll do next. That's why our experienced advisors create the financial plan that works at every step of your journey. Sharing more than 140 years of knowledge to give you the power to make the best decisions and to continue sharing knowledge of your own. bb and Wealth. Sharing knowledge for a brighter direction. Genderman Group. Gunnerman Group is growing. Getting in a groove. Growth is gratifying. The goal is to grow. Gotta get greater growth. I just talked to UPS. They've got expert advice, special discounts, new technologies, like smart pickups. They'll only show up when you print a label, and it's automatic. We save time and money. Time? Money? Time and money. Awesome. 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 I love logistics. During the Sudden Link faster, better, easier switch event, get internet five times faster than DSL. That outranks its competitors in speed and satisfaction, according to PC Mag. And get TV with free HD. Plus, access your Netflix account with TiVo from Sudden Link. Call 877-566-3401 today and enjoy 15 meg internet and TV together for only $59 a month. Plus, add phone for just $10 more a month. This way to get more for less, only from Sudden Link. measure the value of a college education? What are the values that give it worth? The rigorous pursuit of knowledge, the drive to innovate, the commitment to improving communities, and the courage to stand up and lead the way into a brighter tomorrow. These are the values of an East Carolina education. Come discover their true worth for yourself. East Carolina University. Tomorrow starts here. The Ruffin McNeil Show continues with sponsorship by bb and Sharing knowledge for a brighter direction, member FDIC. And by your local nationwide insurance agents. 
Ruff joins us now from Legendary Legion Field as uh, the Pirates had a great week here. They got here on Monday, and the folks there rolled out the red carpet for you, didn't they, Ruff? They, they, they did. First class city, Birmingham, the, from the mayor and all the, you know, from within, the bowl committee, first class. Went to a lot of bowl games, JC, and uh, this was absolutely one of the tops as far as our kids and men. First, first class, made sure they had things to do. We had, we had a great week. Some educational experiences, too. I know the guys uh, took something away from that. Well, they did. You know, we visited the Bear Bryant Museum one day. We had a civil rights uh, museum the next day and uh, bowling and some comp competition there. But I uh, learned a lot about the city. Met a lot of people within the city this week, and I hope they, they grew from it. Yeah, no doubt about that. Let's talk about the game and the first half coming yeah. up here now. Ruff, I mean, the guys just played their hearts out, didn't they? That was tough. First half, you know, I thought we left some opportunities out there. I said that at half with Marty. and. Um, red zone uh, opportunities. We, we've always been pretty good in the red zone. And then defensively, we were playing great first down, second down defense, which we stopped controlling the run. But they made some third down and long conversions there. So uh, uh, really tough that way, but the kids kept fighting and kept, kept hanging in there. Well, you know this Florida team would run the football because mm -hmm. that's how they make their living, don't they? Yeah, they do. We know, we know if we control Treon that we'd have a chance to uh, get him in a fast situation. We could have him. His, his deal would be scrambling or being mobile, and we know how fast he was. And he's been he's one of the uh, top freshmen in the SEC this year. But uh, once our guys settled down and began to be more disciplined in their gap, they were, they were, we were trying so hard, Jeff. Mm -hmm. Second half defensively, we slowed down and – and when I say slow down, understood exactly what we need to fit defensively uh, and uh, begin to control that run. Yeah, no doubt about that. You'll see that in the second half. Let's now go to those first half highlights. I can't wait to watch you play today. I can't wait to watch those players and teams again. You guys focus on us today. Everybody got me. Yes, sir. I'm talking to you about a week, week and a half about that. Focus on doing your job, making plays, playing the next play, great fundamentals, playing together, Take away no defense, fall skirt offense, have a great time. Got the teams making a difference today. Yes, sir. Everybody embrace their role. Everybody's role is important. Everybody understand me on that. Yes, sir. Last thing, do not, do not hesitate. Do not hesitate. Everybody understand me on this. Yes, sir. No one hesitates. And sideline, the best in the country. First class program today on TV. First class program. Let the nation see a first class program. Everybody understand me? Yes, sir. Program statement time. Let's go. Woo! Cap is up, just over 30,000 for the Birmingham Bowl. The Pirate fans were out in numbers, and Florida had a good contingent, too. Really a good atmosphere, rough for this one. You know, Pirate Nation travels now, and uh, I'm, I'm so proud uh, when you look back and saw that purple and gold, see a purple and gold. This date was great. Uh, our fans and family got a chance to go through uh, Christmas and uh, New Year's down here together. Great fans. Well, you know, he had to stop the run against his Florida team, and uh, right off the bat, Montez Overton comes up with a big play, and he stops uh, Taylor for no gain. Montez played a real good game. Montez is an uh, all-conference, all-American candidate for us. Uh, he'll be a leader, count on in offseason. Played big this year, made a great play here. Cam Worthy catches this one for 26 yards uh, from Shane Carden. The Pirates with the ball right down the field, their second possession, and then Carden to Hardy. How many times have we seen this? This one goes for three yards, and Ruffy jump out, 7 nothing. Oh, yeah, I was proud of where we start, you know, that combination. I miss those two. I can finally say five and deuce, uh, but they'll be playing the league here in a couple months. Yeah, three downs and out for Florida. The Pirates come back with the ball one more time. Chris Harrison got the start today with Breon Allen out. He goes for 15 yards. Chris had a good ball game, rushed for 75 yards. I'll tell you what, Chris, and we've talked about him a lot. JC did a great job running downhill, great on the block protection as well. And then the Pirates uh, come up with this one on a third down and two, 10 situation. Carden throws. This one's picked off by Poole. And Florida is all even up now, 7-7 as Poole gets the pick six. The Pirates come back with the ball now. And again, uh, Carden and Worthy, they were hooking up all day long. This one goes for 27 yards. And, and Cam had a great senior season. Uh, Cam had a great season. I think he went for over 1,000 yards a day as a reception. So uh, that makes two receivers. On, and Cam's a great competitor. Cam will be in the league as well. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. As we pick up action a little bit more into the first quarter, here's Lane with a run now. This one goes uh, for 48 yards. Guy tough to get on the ground. Yeah, they, they, guys, we knew they, they uh, break some and have a chance to, but uh, this guy was a great run by this guy. Yeah, it was, and then Lane takes it in uh, to the end zone. Florida goes up 14-7. to seven. They add another TD later in the second quarter, and then the Pirates come back with the ball, and we see Carden throwing to Isaiah Jones here, rough for 18 yards. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Zay's a, another big one we're counting on to step up in all season, season four. 
was just like uh, in Justin's place, and he'll be able to. Then on a third down and 10, uh, Shane throws complete to Cam Worthy. This one goes for 26 yards, and then the Pirates get the ball down near the goal line, and Kurt Bankert comes in. It looks like he's going to go in for the score here, Ruff, and this was a tough when he fumbles the ball. It was tough. I thought knee was down, really, you know, and they, they looked at it and didn't find out to overrule it, but, uh, yeah, I thought Kirk was, uh, was in there. And the Pirates go into the locker room at halftime, down two touchdowns. So the Gators have a two-touchdown lead at halftime, but uh, Ruff, it was evident you guys could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys. Well, we knew that, and I told the kids all year. We, we've been in every football game this year. Uh, we Once we lost, we had chances to win, and we were not intimidated by anyone. I knew if we settled down and do what we do, uh, make plays, make competitive plays, uh, which we began to do, and just doing our job and have a good time. And I told no hesitation, excuse me, And but uh, in the second half we made, made adjustments and came back and, and made the game. Yeah, no doubt about that. The Pirates needed to jump start to start the second half. That's what they got. We'll come back and look at those second half highlights right after this. Now we're going to play on the snap. Hit Hardy. Hardy. There goes Justin Hardy. He's to the 20. Chase down inside the five yard line. Didn't you just feel like it was a matter of time? Drive here now.com is the source for your next ride. Four locations, over 250 vehicles. We got a ride for you. Greenville Motor Company, Memorial Drive, East Carolina Auto Exchange, Charles Boulevard, Washington Motor Company, Carolina Avenue, Kinston Auto Mart, Vernon Avenue. Cars, trucks, SUVs, motorcycles. We, we got them. Good, bad, slow, no credit. You're, you're approved. approved. Credit union financing to buy here, pay here. We, we do, do it all. all. Call 252 756 5100 to get riding now or online at driveherenow.com. Eye Care Center, Eastern North Carolina's premier optometric specialists have become one of the few in the nation to offer patients the most technologically advanced lenses on the market, enabling the personalization of progressive and single vision lenses with our exclusive digital surfacing process that delivers high-performance lenses with the most precision in their optical lab in Greenville. Call today to make your appointment for the most precise, accurate lenses on the market. Visit us in Washington, Williamson, Plymouth, and three locations in Greenville, 252-756-4204. Why do you ECU online? Because I wanted a program that supports students from registration to graduation. Because I want to feel connected to my professors and classmates, although all my classes are online. Because it allows me to take classes on my own time. A traditional university, professional faculty, North Carolina's leader in online education. Because I want to be ready for tomorrow. Because I am excited about tomorrow. Because my future starts here. East Carolina University, tomorrow starts here. Welcome back to the show. The Pirates are down two touchdowns, needed to get something going in the second half, and the offense started to catch fire, and I know Coach Smith did some great adjustments at halftime, too. Well, we did. That, that group, I, both coaches, um, right near them defensively, and the offense made some great adjustments uh, uh, as groups and came back and able to get some stops on defense and able to uh, uh, make some possessions uh, 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 count on offense as well. So I was pleased with the way we came out and, again, fought there at the beginning and, and throughout the fourth quarter. Yeah, big interception by Josh Hawkins, and the Pirates turn that into a touchdown to start the third quarter right back in the game. Let's go now to those second-half highlights. So the Pirates get that big play that they need to start the third quarter, and Josh Hawkins steps in his fifth interception of the year up. This was a big one to start the second half. That was a big way, big broad defense and, and getting the ball back to our offense quickly. And then the Pirates come right back, and here's the fade in the end zone to Cam Worthy. He goes up with those great hands, four-yard touchdown, and the Pirates are right back in it. 
down just one score, 21 to 14. And then here's a big play by Florida as Harris throws complete to Fullwood. He can really motor. He goes 86 yards down the sideline for the touchdown. Florida gets it right back, and they lead now 28 to 14. And then at this point, Ruff, the game really settled down. The defense has really started to dominate, didn't they? Yeah, I was disappointed with that long play, but after that play, defense settled down and, and understood what he had to do and, and uh, uh, get, again gave us a chance to win, win the football game. Shane Carden throws complete here to Justin Hardy. This one goes uh, for 19 yards, sets up the field goal. Warren Harvey, the all-time points leader in the history of Pirate football, comes in, drills a 24-yarder. Yeah, I'm proud of Warren. Uh, you know, he missed the first one in the half, but came back and made two big ones there in the second half for us. Yeah, 28-17, Pirates getting back in the game again, and then here's another great defensive play. What a great senior season Brandon Williams had. Brandon has played great. He's an all-conference player and been steady every game against every opponent. Uh, really big leader for us, J.C. Yeah, no doubt about that. Just a, a terrific player. Brandon Williams had a great senior season. We move to action now in the fourth quarter, and Carden throws this one complete to Cam Worthy, and Cam in his final game as a Pirate made it uh, certainly one to remember. This one goes for 16 yards, sets up another field goal, and Warren Harvey comes in. Ironically enough, another 24-yarder. Rough. now it's a one-position game. It's a 28-20 ball game. Yeah, it was a good game. Knew we had a chance right there, and uh, I like the way the team has bounced back and been resilient all year long. Yeah, and then both defenses really played well down the stretch. Neither team could score, and that was the final. Florida 28 and East Carolina 20. Hey, we just got to execute better in the red zone. Uh, I think that was a problem today. Like you said, we were on 101 plays. Um, Ton of offensive yards. Um, just you know, you, we got a few field goals there where we should have executed more and, and got touchdowns. And obviously, the pick there when the red zone uh, can't happen. Um, you know, they were playing great defense down there though, so you got to give them credit. Are we hitting the inside verticals uh, again. They blitzed. Um, the corner came off the outside receiver. I didn't have a lot of room to put it outside, and um, you know, their DB made a good play. Never want to go out losing. You know, as a senior, you know, last game in collegiate football. You know, you never want to go out losing. Uh, it hurts a little bit. You know, it's going to take some time. But at the same time. Uh, life goes on. I'm not going to look back at my career and think it was a disappointment because we lost last game. Um, you know, we've done a lot of good things together as a senior group. Um, it's football. You lose games sometimes. That's how it works. So the Pirates, as always, they play their hearts out come up just a little bit short, losing 28-20, uh, to 20, and you always go back and pick out four or five or six plays, yeah. don't you, Ruff, in every yeah. football game? Yeah, you always do. It's, it's, even when I play, you got to go full speed every play. There's always four or five plays that determine outcome in the game. You never win, know when they're going to happen, so you go full speed. Uh, and like I said, those, the guys, it's, this game is about making plays and mm -hmm. at the right time, making plays every time you get a chance. And they made more plays the day at, when they had opportunity than, than us. We'll be back and we'll have more mm -hmm. with Coach Ruff right after this. Building wealth is an ongoing journey. Every step you take should lead in the right direction. At BB&T Wealth, we've spent more than 140 years sharing knowledge and helping clients plan, getting to know you as well as we know your life goals. With the strength of our experience on your side, you have the confidence to make the best financial decisions from one generation to the next. Because the rewards of managing wealth wisely should always be close. BB&T Wealth, sharing knowledge for a brighter direction. Eye Care Center. Eastern North Carolina's premier optometric specialists have become one of the few in the nation to offer patients the most technologically advanced lenses on the market, enabling the personalization of progressive and single vision lenses with our exclusive digital surfacing process that delivers high-performance lenses with the most precision in their optical lab in Greenville. Call today to make your appointment for the most precise, accurate lenses on the market. Visit us in Washington, Williamson, Plymouth, and three locations in Greenville. 252-756-4204. During the Sudden Link faster, better, easier switch event, get internet five times faster than DSL. That outranks its competitors in speed and satisfaction, according to PC Mag. And get TV with free HD. Plus, access your Netflix account with TiVo from Sudden Link. Call 877-566-3401 today and enjoy 15 meg internet and TV together for only $59 a month. Plus, add phone for just $10 more a month. This way to get more for less, only from Sudden Link. Hey, man, I'm stranded. You think you can come pick me up? Uh, where you at? Uh, Route 13, 50 miles out. I'm kind of busy right now. It's going to be a little bit. Awesome. Why was U.S. Cellular built to work way out here? Because being stuck in the middle of nowhere should be up to your buddy, not your spotty wireless provider. With 4G LTE coverage, for nearly 90% of our customers, you get national coverage that works harder locally. U.S. Cellular. Hello, better. Why do you ECU online? 
Because I wanted to boost my confidence in my career. Because it gives me the tools to succeed at every step of the way. Because I have a goal to earn my degree before she does. A traditional university, professional faculty, North Carolina's leader in online education. Because I'm preparing for tomorrow. It has the program I needed. Because I'm excited for tomorrow. East Carolina University. Tomorrow starts here. How do you measure the value of a college education? What are the values that give it worth? The rigorous pursuit of knowledge. The drive to innovate. The commitment to improving communities. And the courage to stand up and lead the way into a brighter tomorrow. These are the values of an East Carolina education. Come discover their true worth for yourself. East Carolina University. Tomorrow starts here. We'll be right back with more on the Ruffin McNeil Show. Sponsored by Suddenlink. Bundle and save with Suddenlink. Call 1-800-880-5880. Welcome back to the show. It's been a very busy week for Pirate Basketball, both Jeff Lebo's ball club and also Heather Macy's team. It was a real exciting day on Tuesday when the Pirates had a doubleheader as East Carolina, of course, uh, was in action against Tulane on the men's side, and then the ladies welcomed in the Yukon Huskies. So a very exciting day at Williams Arena. Minji's Coliseum, and our Brian Meador now has an update on Pirate Basketball. The Pirates took the floor on Wednesday, hoping to end 2014 on a high note. And things look good early on. Terry Wisnant for three. He drills it. He's been a bright spot for the Pirates lately. East Carolina once again at a size disadvantage, but Mike Zangary just toughing it out. The basket and the foul. Pirates by two. More from East Carolina. This time out and running. Wisnant earning the three the hard way. 9-4 East Carolina on top. Good to see PRC finding his stroke. Paris Roberts Campbell hit back-to-back -back threes to give East Carolina the 24-10 lead. But the wheels would fall off. Tulane got hot behind Jonathan Stark. He led all scores with 22 points. The Green Wave going a ridiculous 25-2 run to end the half. Tulane improves to 10-3 with a 67-59 win. The Lady Pirates capped off the New Year's Eve doubleheader against the defending national champion UConn Huskies. East Carolina's leading scorer Jada Payne with the jumper. The game was tied at two the last time it would be tied. Atiana Taylor providing a highlight for East Carolina. That was pretty much about it. The number two ranked Huskies got it rolling. A 21-0 run to start the second half. Pretty much blew the game wide open. The Lady Pirates managing just six baskets on the night. Payne finishes with seven points and five rebounds. It was all UConn on this night, 89-38. Gunderman Group is growing. Getting in a groove. Growth is gratifying. The goal is to grow. Gotta get greater growth. I just talked to UPS. They've got expert advice, special discounts, new technologies, like smart pickups. They'll only show up when you print a label, and it's automatic. We save time and money. Time? Money? Time and money. Awesome. 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 I love logistics.
you measure the value of a college education? What are the values that give it worth? The rigorous pursuit of knowledge, the drive to innovate, the commitment to improving communities, and the courage to stand up and lead the way into a brighter tomorrow. These are the values of an East Carolina education. Come discover their true worth for yourself. East Carolina University. Tomorrow starts here. This week's Look Ahead is brought to you by the Eye Care Center, eye doctors focused on you, and the official eye care provider of the Pirates. Welcome back to the show. It's been a long season of Pirate football, actually uh, five months when you consider the guys started in the first week of August. Here we are the first week of January, and Rump, that's been a lot of football, hasn't it? A lot of football, uh, a great time. I wouldn't have changed anything about spending those five months with that group of men in that locker room uh, than, than anywhere else. Those leaders, senior leaders are leaving, getting ready to go out of the nest, so to say, and start their lives. Uh, I hope they learn a lot from this. I, I know they will. And the guys coming back, I told them to get around those guys now and learn all they can and come back. Uh, when we begin workouts, we'll begin uh, when school starts and begin to come back full speed, ready to go and keep this thing going. Yeah, no doubt. Spring practice then starts, of course, uh, for you guys and kind of right back into it again, right? Right back in. We'll start around March that time and, and uh, you know, get everybody through. Let, first, J Jeff Connors, Coach Connors is going to have him first in, in the weight room. And we know what great job he does and get us ready for spring ball and, and uh, keep advancing, get some new guys in, see who will step up. Really, this bowl practice, Jeff gives us a big head start on that. You, you talk about eight, nine days with those guys coming back, getting 40 to 45 reps. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, that's a lot of, that's a lot of reps. So, uh, it, that'll be a big advantage for us in the spring. Rough over the last two years, the Pirates have had 18 wins, eight wins this year, 10 wins last mm -hmm. year. You've been here five years, four bowl games. Got to feel really good about the foundation you're putting together. I, I do, JC. I feel good about the program. And, you know, the first day you were there, and I said, we want to win for seasons, not a season. And, and uh, we want to build a program brick by brick. Uh, the foundation laid by team commitment and commitment on a vision, being great off the field, in the classroom and on the field, keeping that going. We got a great group in that locker room that I, that I spoke to. Uh, I'm looking forward to, I challenge them in that locker room too, uh, to come back in the offseason and they have a big uh, hurdle to, to, to jump if they plan to outbeat this group here. Yeah, no doubt about that. Ruff, uh, thanks a lot. It's just great to work with you every no week and we look forward to next year. Me too, JC. I love you, brother. You know that. The same here. That's Ruff and McNeil. He's the head coach of the Pirates next week. We'll have Coach Lebo with us. Jeff Lebo will be here and we'll have a report on Pirate basketball. Have a great week, everybody. The Ruffin McNeil Show has been presented by U.S. Cellular, the official wireless sponsor of the ECU Pirates. The Ruffin McNeil Show is an exclusive presentation of IMG, America's home for college sports.